everybody. I'm about to see some patients real soon, but I just want to make a quick video about the Miami Dolphins quarterback Tua Tango Viola um, concussion. All right, it's his third documented concussion in the past few years, and a lot of people are saying that he should retire. He's about 26, 27 years old, and even though I I would like him to retire, but if but, but the reality is, it's up to him. The decision is up to him. But, of course, he, he has the best doctors working on him. And just because his concussion looks bad doesn't mean, you know, it's worse than other concussions. You know, people react differently to a lot of stuff. So, even though he basically does that fencing motion, every time he has a, con a concussion, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the w worse than other concussions. Concussions are bad in general. So, what I'm saying is that, He's going to sit down with his doctors, all type of specialists, his family, his coaches and stuff. And once he's provided the proper information about his health, um, then he has to make that decision for himself. If all the tests comes comes back also, you know, clear, and let's say he has no, no lingering symptoms, no headaches or anything like that, in theory, he, he can't play again. Okay? Um, I do know in MMA, I'm an MMA fighter, um, in MMA... And, and also in acupuncture, of course. In MMA um, or, or boxing, whatever, if you get knocked out, which is a concussion, you can't even train for about three months. Um, so I would like to see him at least don't have any contact for three months. But NFL season is only a few months anyway. So anyway, my point as a video is to say that just because he had those concussions again and he froze up, doesn't mean that technically he can't play again. The decision is up to him at the end of the day. If I was advising him, I don't know all the medical records. I don't know all the scans, results. I don't know. So I'm not in the doctor room with you know, with him. So I really can't make a really um, sound decision, as opinion, I should say. But at the end of the day, is it up to him? So yes, Tua can actually play again. There's a chance that he can play again, and maybe even this season, depending on what the doctors say, and he has no symptoms, no headaches, or anything like that. So let me know what you think below. Do you think Tua should play again? Or should he retire? Let me know.